for substance use disorder or addiction, which are synonymous terms. Uh, we know that for some drugs, we have very good medication or pharmacotherapy that helps patients achieve their goal of reducing or stopping drug use more effectively than treatment without those medications. In the case of opioid use disorder or addiction to heroin or prescription painkiller, in particular, first-line therapy um, includes me uh, methadone or buprenorphine. In numerous scientific studies for methadone over many decades, more recently with buprenorphine, we know that treatment that includes one of those two medicines not only helps people reduce or stop drug use, stay in care, restore family life, restore employment, but actually also decrease mortality. So these are really, it's really not an overstatement to say that these are life-saving medications. And for patients who have an opioid use disorder, being offered one of those two medications can be life-saving. And to not offer that is to not offer the best standard of care. Just to take a moment to talk about the term medication-assisted treatment, and I know this is a widely accepted term. I think that term implies that the medication is assisting the treatment, as if the treatment, uh, there's some other treatment out there. But the medication itself is actually the treatment, and a term that I've come to hear more frequently is medications for addiction treatment. So I'll use that term. Um, and Sometimes medications can be enough. And with pharmacotherapy, there are some people who will achieve their health goals. For some patients, other co modalities in combination with pharmacotherapy could be extremely important to their recovery, whether it's counseling for their substance use, whether it's other kinds of mental health counseling, whether, whether it's other kinds of behavioral treatment. Um, that medication in combination with other modalities like counseling uh, for some patients can be the best way for them to achieve their health goals.